for sure, but the rookie came through. And by the way, we're kind of proud of this. The new Boston Gardner. Mike oh. Gardner, may, you like that one? Oh, Red Sox uh, on debut for Gardner, and it was a memorable one. He allowed just two runs and six hits, seven innings of work for his first Major League victory in a much-needed 7-2 win for the Sox over the Orioles at Fenway. Beach balls were wild in the bleachers tonight. Maybe the fans were preparing to entertain themselves, but Mike Gardner would be plenty entertaining. He wastes no time between pitches. That alone is a reason enough to love this guy. He struck out five. Tim Hewlett went down in the first. Big first inning for the Sox. Reed and Quintana led with singles, and then Wade Boggs got lucky. His high chopper took forever to come down. Jose Mesa let it go. Bases loaded for Tom Brunanski, who finishes the month of May with six homers and 25 RBIs. Jack Clark sat again tonight, and Bruno delivered from the cleanup spot with a double to the gap that scored a pair. Sox got four in the first and two more in the second with the help of some shaky Oreo fielding. 3-1 pitch and a shot to center. That is a base hit, and Devereaux lets it get by him. It's going to go to the triangle. Here comes Payne to score Jody. It's around second, heading for third. They will hold him there. They gave Reed a triple on that play. He had three hits. As always, Jim Palmer unruffled in the Orioles broadcast booth. The man is amazing. And so is Mike Gardner. I wanted to establish just, just being able to throw the ball for strikes, going out there, not being intimidated, uh, not pitching scared, showing that the rest of the Red Sox organization haven't made a mistake by calling me up. Uh, I believe in myself. I believe in the team. Uh, going out there and still having fun, though. Nice job by Gardner, but a hard luck night for the Twins Junior Ortiz. Rounding third in a single, he turns one ankle and then the other. And at this point, he has no choice but to crawl back to the bag. I might consider announcing my retirement after a play like that. 7-2 the final at Fenway. Toronto keeps pace. They stay tied for first, beating the Angels. New York got a homer from Barfield with two outs in the ninth to beat the Brewers. I'll tell you, the Cleveland Indians need 11 runs to beat uh, Detroit. Oakland and Chicago tied. Kansas City wins. Texas leads Seattle National League. Chicago 7-2 over Montreal, and the Pittsburgh wins. St. Louis is leading the Mets 5-4 in the seventh. Well, Harry Sinden says the Bruins aren't going to be rushed into naming a new head coach, but if they find their man early, they'll go for it, and Jack Parker just might be that man. The veteran BU coach is quickly emerging as the frontrunner. Sinden wouldn't go that far today, but he did acknowledge that Parker's a good-looking candidate. Jack Parker, of course, is... Uh, is uh... <laughs> Even the chair umpire says, please, Jimmy, don't default. But Connors physically could not play another point. And Michael Chang wins the match by default at the start of the fifth set. So the 38-year-old Connors goes down. But the story tonight, the 25-year-old Mike Gardner, who uh, wins for Boston. We won't forget. Is this the end, do you think, for Jimmy Connors? Oh, I doubt it. I think he'll go on and on and on. At least I hope he does. And, of course, the name Gardner has the future in, ahead of it. It's, it's, his future's all out in front of him, as a sage once told me. Is it a sage? <laughs> well, <laughs> I wonder where it's worth the <laughs>